There was a uh, heart surgery and someone getting their appendix taken out. I enjoyed being able to see the brain, of course, because that's always fun. We actually had like human hearts and human lungs, and then we looked into them and they showed us how they work and like where the blood comes through. Okay, so let's do a little bit of tying exercise, okay? So there's two ways to tie. There's the one-hand tie, which goes really, really fast, and then there's a two-hand tie, which is a little more solid. The point of uh, the meeting today was not to give them theoretical lectures and PowerPoint slides, but rather take them and embed them right away in the daily life of the surgeon in the 21st century. So the students got the opportunity to visit the OR, meet and interact with the professionals that work there, the nurses, the administrators, see some cases going on, meet with the surgeons and uh, see why incisions were placed, what instruments were used. And after that, they had a hands-on session where they learned how to stitch, how to tie, how, you, how to use some modern surgical devices such as staples. You guys are good. You cured them yeah. Parasitology is a quite important field. However, um, a lot of times it's been ignored because people think that parasites are very far away from us in North America. It's mostly exists in South America or poor countries. However, the case is entirely different. So my colleague Aza have given an uh, excellent presentation in parasitology. What kind of parasites are there? Uh, what they do? What kind of uh, pathology they cause? And after that, the students will have seen some of the parasites infected human cells or just parasites themselves. Then I will take them down to the lab so they have a general overview of what is it all about and why is it so exciting and why would you go into parasitology as a science researcher. So the purpose of today's workshop was actually to show the human brain to the students. So we basically we spoke about the human brain, its main subdivision, types of cells that consist, and afterwards we showed a real human brain and told some small scientific stories. One of the exciting ones, and but very, very well known ones, it's about Phineas Gage. It was a real worker and miner in the uh, middle of the 19th century. So he was working in the mountains and he was trying to make holes in the mountains. He makes a hole but a metal road goes through his eye and through the part of his brain. He just stands up and he walks away. Uh, and uh, what people do notice is that his personality changes completely. So it's one of the first representations of uh, what the damage to the frontal lobe can do. I wasn't really sure about being becoming a doctor or going into medicine. But I see that like it's probably gonna be like lots of people do it. You don't have to be extraordinary. Specialists and people who do it every day, and it's their job, and they're passionate about it. So it's cool to get the inside view about it. This is the field I want to go into, and it helped me specify like with all the sutures that we were doing a lot. It's very important that the growing generation understand why research is important and how it helps them uh, to fight and cure various diseases. I've always wanted to go into health sciences, but uh, I always thought there was only you know doctor, nurse, pharmacist. So it's really opened doors to see all the different things that I can do. That you don't deal with computers, you don't deal with wood or materials or buildings. It's a people sport. If you are a kind of person to challenge yourself, to self-motivate, to try and find new things all the time, it's one of those most exciting careers, I think, that you can find. I think this group in particular has a really good chance. They're very intelligent. I would do it again. It, it was fun. Yeah, it was really fun. It was really cool. I learned a lot. Everything in life can be learned. You don't, you're not born with things, right? So even if you think it's very hard, it's long hours, it's, uh, you take smart people to do this, that's absolutely not true. Anyone can do anything and you just have to be persistent at what you are doing to do anything in life.